what they they're focusing on. It looks like it's gonna be an aqua take. I see Valkyrie by vase, but uh, what can they do with that? It's not an easy kill onto that uh, people. Or sorry, he will be in a position where he's going to have to fight people. He'll peek into a hole made by Muzi and be finished off. Ninja Pajama still looking like they're going to stay work out now. They still have the, the three ACOG operators. All they lost was the uh, the Mozzie, who's going to be playing a little closer, potentially. But that means they're going to be trying to fight the distance. And unfortunately, Muzi comes out ahead on that for his second in the round here. Was he doing a little bit of parkour to get that one? Yeah, it was worth it, though. Yeah, takes some time, but he uh, got a pick off of it. Yeah, taking yeah. out that stubborn dock. An unexpected angle. Usually you think you're safe where that I where Ion was, so yeah. understandable why he will not be wary of it. And phase now. In a, I was gonna say in an alright position, but as Muzi gets yet another kill, it is not looking so alright anymore. There's his fourth. It's just Astro. Will it be the ace? He's coming really close to it, and no. Julio yep. doesn't need to, but he paid off. Yeah, only possible because of the dock. Yep. Julio's gonna die from the skylight, and no more kills for Pino as Astro gets a second, not from the skylight, but from the stairs. Psycho will take down Astro, though, so as Nip fight back, it's still phase in control. Oh, Psycho missing some really big shots there, but Muzi won't at the very least. Plant going down and it will be successful. One just to <laughs> Muzi's left there. And sees hello. him and lands the shot. Last one's the planter. Only one rotation possible for Muzi, realistically. And Yuna's on full HP. This would be hard for Yuna to lose. Oh, he does! No! Through the Muzi with the spray! And, and like he the... walks in like the king that he is! I like that he looked for Claymores. Putting this on to match point. Oh boy. 6-2 and Ninjas in Pajamas secure first in Latin America. Speedwalking. They are yeah. speedwalking. We're going to walk right into sight as quickly as our little feet can. They can't run too fast because then it would be called running. Yeah. So they have to do speed walking. These are the rules. Yeah, you can't ADS while... Whoa, there and go. Muzi's going to get one. He doesn't get the other, though, because that follow-up player behind Ion was actually too far. Oh, no, what has this happened there? Cameraman, a nice reaction, but Muzi shuts him down. That's Muzi's, a triple kill for Muzi. He's everywhere on this map at once. He's tearing phase apart. He's looking for more. Maybe a quad for him, and there it is. Nice shot on the Mav. It's all on Yuna. And will it be a Muzi ace? Yuna's pretty far from the action, so we won't know until he gets to Muzi. Muzi, you're tearing me apart. No, well, it's just all on Yuna to, I guess, stall this match out. Yeah. Muzi hunting for the ace. I imagine all of Nip will bait for him. Yep. And there it is, Muzi, an ace to, to end to the match. Following his amazing performance in the previous round, and Ninjas of Pajamas finish things up. What the heck was that? How clean can you get? Uzi. He's the man to watch out for. He's a drone, but not a big deal. Information gathered. Now he knows what he's dealing with. Kamikaze will go down as well to Reduct. So, so far, Team 1 having a really good round. And, oh wow, it's just going to be a prone entry here from Reduct. He's not actually been stopped. Amazingly, Julio misses the shots. Fall's going to get Gohan on the cover, but Muzi adding to his team's tally. And there's two for Ninjas of Pajamas. Post plant, though, now, and there's only two players left on Ninjas of Pajamas. C4 goes out, does get Reduct. So the planter done away with. Skidinia in the west hallway. Lucid playing at the top of main stairs. Psycho going to be taking a fight on the west hallway. Through the wall, misses his shots. That's Skidinia just trying his best to get to 90. He's trying to play it safe. Psycho's got to take this fight. He's running out of time, actually. And Muzi's going to get Skidinia. There you go. The West Hallway done away with. It's just on Lucid. But Psycho doesn't get aggressive. He's going to go back for the Diffuser. Muzi's going to cover. Psycho, you need to stick it. Decide. Pick where you're going. It's in the West Hallway that Lucid decides to make his stand. And he cannot deny the Disable. So Ninjas in Pajamas post-plant. Well, he's great like that. I mean, you look at like Yellow Stairs and Consa, for mm -hmm. example. Psycho just doesn't seem to know really what to do at this point. He's just kind of providing coverage of any kind of jump outs or anything like that. There is the Echo this time, again. So it seems to be only the play for this site for them, which is, I mean, you leave Echo available and you only play him on one site. Mm. It worked for him last time. They just got to get some good use out of that Yokai again. Attackers have located a bomb. Julio watching Garage. There's no Garage control from NIP. That's why we'll see this. And Oh no. EMP taken off and Muzi gets one hit and the second one. Well done here. Supernova is not going to help you much, but the Yokai might. So, 
there going to be a grenade? Yes, there will be. It will slow down M-King and should allow the attackers to plant. Kamikaze will go for one fake and go for the next. He's unsure there will be... No, what are you doing? He runs right into the Echo, who falls back and takes no damage from the grenade. The Supernova is definitely doing work and it's firing in the back. Julia, though, finds Nobis and leaves M-King all alone. The Diffuser needs to be picked up here so if you can just keep them back, they run right into him. They find one kill. Supernova in hand, but finally... NIP secure the round. Já cai o Júlio também. A equipe da Faze vai conseguir buscar os abates. E agora aqui o câmera vai ter que parar para tirar o Sagumar. Vai perder o HP. Enquanto aqui dentro o câmera se movimenta. Encontra agora o combate. Leva a melhor para ser o Kamikaze. E fica agora no 3x2. E no Rip Fire ele levou o Piro. E agora tem apenas o Monsi. Para chumpar todo mundo. Segura esse spray. And it just gives you much better line of sight than just putting it on your average wall. And Thermite, at least, will open up the entryway here, the wall from bedroom into trophy. It's a 4v5, and you look at all of this, the minute left, our mortals are definitely at the helm in this round. Yeah, just hanging out outside as usual. Flashbang into Psycho, he falls back to mine on the floor. He's waiting for one more to recharge well, here, and he sprays into dagger. the back damage done to Cyber. But Muzi will keep on moving. Going on the flank, Novi's eliminated. A great shot from Psycho. That's Nomad taken away. Air jab is out, but will do no work, no damage whatsoever. Cyber with a great shot onto Psycho as well, holding off the cross angle from 90, a 3v4. And grenades, smokes will be thrown into the site. Pino will rotate in to try and fire against his opponents in the one walkway that they have available. But Pino will get dropped. PX going for the Diffuser plant. Muzi with one on the site. Both though running on in. He'll get down and taken away by Muzi. Diffuser being planted and it will end up happening. M King turning around a 1v3 and it gets shot from the back. Muzi saving the round on the Jaeger. And NIP take it. And they put 5 1 at the half. Complete control. For the ninjas and the immortals, every time they have something to play with, it just falls apart due to the poor execution. They go to plant. That because Zofia as well as Capital both exist. And neither so, of them play. So neither of them are that's being what played. I'm saying. Neither of them are being played. You're completely, completely correct about that. But as soon as they identify out that Julio is playing this clash, you're more than likely going to see a switch up in the operator lineup on offense, which you've already seen quite a bit of. Sexy Cake has really only been the man that's been sticking to the same operator. We've seen PSK on Sledge as well yeah. uh, quite often. I believe Moringa's already switched off. He was not playing Jackal this entire time. but The first he? round he was, because oh, we're okay. talking so about the, a shotgun. Yeah, so, so then obviously he was. So apologies about that. It's been a long week for me. It's been four. <laughs> This is my fourth day in a row of casting, so it's busy, Beaver. Moosey, yeah. almost like two HP at this point. I got the first kill, though, and that's going to be Nesk. And another oh, one that wow. could as well off of some soft destruction. He's got to finish it. He's going to want to finish this. He's, oh, yes. he's too greedy for it. Just bait him at this point. And the trade. No. No. Unpunished. No way. What? Oh, the hip fire headshot. That is rough. Oh, no, Moringa. Oh, you poor, poor thing, my friend. Sexy Cake tries. All right, you got stunned. Now I hope GDN spotted it at least. Mm -hmm. I can hear the stun still whopping away. Come on, GDN. I think that I think that I think that might have been the last one. It looks like he shot it. I'm okay. not sure though. Hard to really tell. Spot coming out onto a psycho from the footprints. And oh. There we go. Fight back again. Muzi this time instead of Gohan. That was oh, that must have been an amazing shot for Muzi, and he's gonna get a second on Wag. It's looking over right now for Black Dragons as they have but two players left. Yes, a minute to work with, but that probably won't matter. A psycho eliminates PCD. The final for Muzi. A flawless round to end it out, and another, our third, seven two for the day. FaZe messed it up that throwing round. Gosh darn it, FaZe. We're going to have that word with them. Mm -hmm. Or the Mew Jammer behind, but or the Clyde. There you go. Not uh, I forgot what to call it. But yeah, now it's turned to just a piece of wood. And you can easily break through that. It's not like you... It's not rocket science. And Psycho's up close and fighting here in the Monty. Pino's trying to contest with white stairs as Till has been thrown away. Pino will chuck a grenade up. Won't connect, but Muzi will find Rise. Another one from Kamikaze. See here, the Monty with the P9 in hand. And this double reinforcement blocking the path of Julio from the bathroom into the fridge. 
Worlds is falling apart right now for Team One, and they lose. Well, Kamikaze falls down as he tries to push on in. There goes Falls and Nip doing well, but look at Rayduct. He's made his way into Piano, and he's going to be the last one left. He's got 30 seconds to just try and hold on. This is really tough. Nobody knows. He's been so elusive. He started downstairs, he got all the way up, and he's just going to sit and wait for the time being. Gives his position away, though, as he fires his gun, or was that rather Julio who did? But the gig is up. He doesn't fight his way out of that. It's match point for Nip as they're making this a quick one. 6-1 over Team 1. And it could have already been done. Who knows? That the defense is firmly entrenched over there. You see the deployable shield. You know there's two bodies played out. You know that you have to worry about the fact that there's going to be endless amounts of goo mines. And Bakery at least looks much more free. So 30 seconds left to match on the line. It looks like Team 1 is actually showing some signs of life. They'll lose out on another fight. It's a 3v3 now. It's Kamikaze alongside Muzi can move on in. Where is Pino? That's the real question. Probably above about to wreak havoc his sledge. Muzi taking some damage as they'll have to push on in, but this is going to be very, very tough. Rise is in an excellent position to stop them. There's Skadinia. Down goes Kamikaze. Pino finds one. Muzi finds another. And Muzi walks right in, and that's the ball game. What a play from Nip at the last second with the Ash taking charge on two masterfully well done kills.